My next guest is a 56-fight veteran who's competed for the UFC, IFL, Bellator, and Strikeforce. Matt Horwich joins me here on the program. Matt, how are you? I'm good. Uh, having a great time in Poland. The people are beautiful and amazing. Uh, training for the fight's been good. God bless the multiverse. Yes, absolutely. And uh, how, how did you end up in Poland? I know you're fighting there, but uh, do you live there now or are you just here for fight camp? Uh, I've been living here. Um, I uh, I have a great time in Poland every time I fought uh, here before. So I don't know how long I'll be here. It'd be not, uh, the women are beautiful. People are amazing. Hopefully, I'll meet a nice Polish wife and <laughs> travel, do good things, and God bless the multiverse. How much is it different from uh, from the states? Because you you were from uh, Washington State. It's uh, rainy, like Washington. It snowed a little bit more, or a lot more than Washington in the winter. Most people remember you from the IFL, where you fought from 2006 to 2008. What was that experience like for you? Uh, IFL treated the fighters really good. They paid good. It was good while they lasted. Um, I think the stupid thing they did is they had the uh, fights like in the same... Uh, Atlanta City, Georgia, Connecticut, um, where they didn't really have any of the teams instead of having the fights in the team's hometowns and uh, building it up and the fan base. So uh, it's too bad I felt it at last. Yeah, they had, they had a lot of really good fighters there. Um, it, do, you, do you think the team concept can work in MMA? I, I, we see now that uh, World Series of Fighting is trying to do that. The World Series of Fighting, they're... Uh, that's the one that's got a million dollars for the winner, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, that'll. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, it's the multiverse. Hopefully, they do great. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you you fought a lot of notable fighters in your career, including uh, you know Glover Teixeira, Josh Berkman, Talos Latis. Is there one fight out of your fifty six fights that really stands out to you that you really enjoyed? Uh. Well, uh, the Benji Raddick one where I won the belt, but uh, Talos Latis, that was like uh, my biggest win because I was blessed to be the only guy to finish Talos Latis so far. Yeah, no one, no one's been able to submit him since then. Uh, that, that's a pretty cool stat because uh, you look at how many fights he's had and, and no one's been able to do it. Uh, what was that moment like when you, when you submitted him? Because that, that was an incredible win. Uh, it was a beautiful night. I was uh, I was really happy and uh, made pretty good money on it. Um, went out to Denny's after. <laughs> and, uh, not uh, Poland's where I've had the most fun so far, but uh, that was my biggest win and the magic of the moment on a glory night. Um. I had some good wins in Poland, too. Antonio Chmielewski and uh, KSW, they paid pretty good while they lasted, but um, they said they would uh, give me like some more fights on my contract if I took less money after I was coming off two wins, and then they didn't give me the fights that they said. So now I'm fighting in PL MMA here. And they uh, treat the fighters really well. It's not as big as KSW yet, so they don't have as much money. But good people and money's not uh, all that matters. Yeah, definitely. And uh, and and of course, uh, you you fought you know in the UFC, you fought in Bellator, and then after that, you fought primarily overseas, like you've referenced there. Uh, you know, fighting in Poland. Um, what is it about fighting over there? Is it just that the, the pay is better? Is is it the ability to travel? What's sort of been the reason for fighting primarily overseas? Uh, well, um, overseas, usually the pay is better, the fans are amazing, um, so, yeah, that's the main reason. You don't have to pay for the, the silly MRI. <laughs> like, uh, if I fight in America, by the time I pay for the silly MRI, I wouldn't really make any money on the fight. Right. Okay, that's interesting. And then, of course, uh, you know, the crowds are different there. I, I, do, you, do you find that generally overseas the, the crowds are a bit more respectful uh, than they are in North America? Uh, 
Yeah, probably. I mean, anywhere you, anytime you, everyone's bored with where they grew up. So, anytime you go to a different place, the people seem like uh, more fun and like uh, more open and everything. Yeah. Um, the fans and uh, I've met a lot of beautiful, people, amazing people in America and everywhere. But um, I mean, I've been in America my whole life, so. I figure I might as well travel, meet as many amazing people, um, hopefully meet the girl of my dreams that'll fall in love with me like Christian Slater on True Romance. <laughs> great movie. Wins, best shot in life. God bless the multiverse and everyone doing great things, having an amazing year. Speaking of years, uh, you didn't fight at all in 2014. Why was that? Just that uh, you needed the time off or you just couldn't get fights? Well, I didn't have any decent offers because I filmed like a, a horror movie with friends and I was uh, hanging out in Hollywood doing filming when I could and um, the KSW, after I was finished filming, they didn't give me the fight they said that they would because they said they didn't know if I was healthy enough because I haven't fought for a year and I said, okay, that's bullshit. Um, <laughs> I just want to take fights that are paying enough to be worth my time. Gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. And and of course, you came back uh, in March of this year. Uh, you got the win at PLMMA 72. You submitted David Ramirez. How nice was it to finally snap that losing streak? And, and you know, how happy were, were you with your performance? Uh, it was great to get a good win. He was a great opponent. He had really good Muay Thai. Um, because he was from Holland, home of Ernesto Boost and Alistair Overeem, and a lot of really great uh, heavyweight Muay Thai K1 fighters. Um, the I the game plan was to wait for him to come to me more instead of rushing him like every fight, and then um, he was kicking my legs. So uh, I should have. Uh, I felt like he was too far away to time the kicks with punches. So uh, next time, if they got good footwork and they stay too far away to punch and kick at my legs, I was thinking kick their legs back because they'll be heavy on them and then Superman punch in. Or So I learned something every fight. Uh, I'm thankful for the win, thankful for a uh, good fight. That was pretty much all I can think of for that fight. <laughs> for sure and of course you've got this fight coming up here on May 20th you're taking on uh, Peter uh, Sukowski I think that's how you pronounce it um, how, how do you how do you assess him as an opponent uh, hard to say all the fights I saw in the end there's only two of his fights on the internet and that's him getting caught early okay um, so the same game plan as every fight uh, faint throw good cover good hustle on the takedowns uh, best shot Okay. Best shot at everything in life, and I'm happy with that. Okay. And uh, who are you training with over in Poland uh, right now to help you get ready for this fight? I'm training at uh, Team Nastula with Mirek, the owner of uh, PLMMA. And uh, it's a great group of guys. Uh, Marcin Naruska is there. Uh, I fought him the fight before last, and he's a great fighter, smart, good training, and a uh, good heart. Uh, Mateusz Pisco, and a lot of the good Polish fighters. Excellent. And uh, how's how's the weight cut going, uh, getting down to middleweight? Uh, the, well, the weight cut, I don't even start cutting yet. I'd rather just deal with it like... Uh, a couple of days out usually and okay. fast and then cut the weight. And has it been uh, more difficult uh, being overseas? Because I know the food's probably a little bit different. Do you have to, uh, do, you have, do you have the same access to, you know, sort of the foods you'd need in, in North America? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the foods, uh, I mean, there's not whole foods and stuff in Poland because there's not like the economy and organic foods and everything is America. But yeah, the food's great. Um, and there's broccoli and spinach or whatever, so but no, it's fine. That's great. And I know you're not looking past your opponent, but is the plan to stay with PLMMA? You seem really happy with them just talking to you here. Uh, yeah. Um, 
I'll do some fights for PLMMA. It's not an exclusive contract, so if I get a good offer anywhere else, I can take it. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy here now. Uh, just uh, give each fight my best shot and uh, keep coming back better than I was yesterday, intellectually, spiritually, athletically. Um, everyone has limitless potential to be real-life superheroes and do great things. Great. And, and you know, uh, how much longer do you see yourself fighting, or is it just, you know, until you, your body tells you otherwise, you're going to keep, keep fighting? Well, um, I want to do a few more fights. Well, shit, I don't know. <laughs> if I do really well, then I might fight a long time. Um... Or I might study uh, and then go to college and hang out with smart people or do some filming. Uh, There's too many possible variables to really predict anything. I'm just going to give it my best shot each day and keep uh, learning more, getting smarter, pushing past my my limits uh, intellectually and athletically. That's pretty much my plan for every day in life. Great. And, and if people haven't noticed and, and people who know you, uh, you're very phil- philosophical and I think that's great. Um, where does that sort of come from, that, that desire to, you know, uh, learn uh, from a higher power and to, to learn more uh, outside of our everyday lives? Uh, well, just uh, the love of wisdom. Um, it's a beautiful universe and it's a great time to live in with all the knowledge available. Philosophy is derived from the Greek word uh, philosophia, meaning uh, love of wisdom. And intelligence, wisdom, and hard work and heart is powered in life. And uh, the ingredients of greatness. Um, It'd be pretty groovy to write a book about, like, the ingredients of greatness and the history of heroes and great inventors um, that contributed to uh, all the education and freedom and resources and everything we enjoy today. Uh, I'm a big fan of... uh, Probably my favorite inventors would be like Michael Faraday and Nikola Tesla and James Clark Maxwell. Um, the, Michael Faraday, like the, the college people didn't believe him that oscillating electric and magnetic fields make light. They're all one in the same force until James Clark Maxwell came to his rescue and put the mathematics behind it. And... Um, There's a great quote from Leonardo da Vinci, to develop a well-rounded mind, uh, one should study the art of science and the science of art. It's beautiful to see how they're all kind of intertwined and one and the same. Excellent. And and how how do you feel like that sort of helped your fight career? Uh, Because, you know, fighting is very much mental, uh, especially when you're going in the cage and and fighting an opponent. You have to be very sharp. Uh, Do you feel like it's really benefited your career? Uh, yeah, yeah. whenever you give your best shot at everything and try to do good things and inspire and educate together, then uh, then you're going to be more successful at everything you do. A uh, champion in life and giving my best shot. I'm pretty happy with that. I heard you're a big Guns N' Roses fan. Uh, have, have you had a chance to see them on their reunion tour at all? Uh, I'm hoping to see them in June in Poland. Okay, great. Um, I saw Duff when uh, we were watching the fights. Um, Eddie Bravo introduced me to our good friend Danny Launer. And Danny Launer, uh, he played for Nine Inch Nails and does the Resident Evil and Underworld soundtracks. And he's a super nice guy. Um, one of the nicest guys I've met in Hollywood. And I saw Duff McKagan. I've seen Dizzy Reed a couple times watching the fights with us and said hi to him. But I wasn't sure it was Duff, so I didn't really say hi to him. <laughs> Hopefully next time. It was the one. I remember that cover he did of uh, Can't Put Your Arms Around a Memory by Johnny Thunders. Beautiful cover. Great. You mentioned fights there. Do you get to watch the UFC at all while you're overseas, or is it difficult? Uh, well, I catch the replay because uh, it's on at 5 in the morning. That's right, yeah, because of the time change. Yeah. I stay up until 5. I just wake up and catch the replay. Okay. Uh, you're, you're really good friends with Jason Mayhem Miller. I saw there's a video of the two of you shopping in Target. Um, do you still talk to Jason a lot? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, on Facebook, because I don't have a phone in Poland, really. I just use Wi-Fi. 
Okay. But, um, yeah, I talk to him regularly. He's doing really good. He's got his podcast going and everything, so that's good to see. Uh, we filmed a movie, a fight scene with Scott Adkins. That was pretty fun. And uh, Savage Dogs. Uh, it's not out yet, but that'll be cool to see when it comes out. Scott Adkins is the man. He was fun to work with, and everyone was beautiful people. Awesome to hand out. Do you like doing the, the, the acting stuff? Is that something you want to do more of when your fight career winds up? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to film at least one movie a year, ideally. I mean, I don't have to to be happy, but I enjoy like uh, working with the artists and free spirits and filming. And um, It's awesome to see how far television and everything's came since Philo Farnsworth invented the electric television and the color TV and one of my favorite movies was uh, Great and Powerful Oz to see like when he goes to Oz land all the different colors and the, that was uh, I think Philo Farnsworth would have been really proud to see that on television he thought it was a terrible invention until he saw like uh, people on the moon and then he thought it was uh, pretty cool excellent I'm always learning that something every, every time I uh, you know hear any of your interviews it's uh, been a pleasure Matt to have you on this program we want to wish you the best of luck uh, in this fight with uh, with, with Peter uh, Slawinski uh, coming up here on May 20th uh, Matt just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you have any uh, thank yous or sponsors or shout outs the floor is yours uh, well everyone can find me on Facebook and Twitter Matt Horwich um I always enjoy talking to the fans and friends and uh, sharing knowledge and inspiration. And um, the internet's a, a great outlet to be able to learn new stuff and uh, keep in touch with people we meet traveling. Um, but for sponsors in Poland, we got uh, the Owl Cattle Phones and MMA Energy Drink. Uh, God bless everyone having a great year and giving our best shot in life, doing great things. and. Uh, that's about all I can think of. 